Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Let me ask you, do you have bad credit? Do you have maxed out credit cards, okay? Now, the reason that I'm asking you that is because if you're trying to get a loan to pay off your maxed out credit cards or trying to cut yourself on some bills, these lenders here are probably gonna be your best chance at getting qualified for funding. And usually there's almost a guarantee that you're gonna find at least one of these lenders that's able to help you. Now, the first lender that I'm gonna talk about is Viva Loans, okay? Now, understanding that with Viva Loans, it is a platform, okay? They do not offer the loans directly. They're not a direct lender, all right? Now, the thing about it, again, they're not focused more on the credit score because usually people that reach out to them, they usually have a low credit score, right? Uh, one of the things I would tell you is definitely make sure that you have an active phone number, an active email, and that you have direct deposit set up for most of these lenders, okay? So if you don't have at least those three, then you're going to find yourself in a challenging position. That being said, these type of lenders, they do work with people that are on Social Security benefits. As a matter of fact, Viva Loans, if you're in the military or discharged military, they would actually loan from loan to you. OK, so they would actually loan to you. Now, their loans, their loans actually go from 100. As you can see here, their loans go from 100 up to 50. Right? And just keep in mind, I think it's maybe like four or five states that they don't operate in. But at the same time, it is a platform. Again, especially if you, especially if you have a bad credit score, as you can see here, it says all credit types welcome. So that means that if you have a low credit score, that may not disqualify you from getting a loan from Viva Loans, a bump. Now, the thing about it, a lot of people have been having success with a bump with getting a personal loan. Now, the minimum uh, credit score they will accept is a 580 credit score. Adding to that, you can see here that their loans can go from 2000 up to 35 all right? So they're a little higher for his lending and stuff. But again, like I said, some of the key things, and also adding to that, like you guys can test the waters and try to pre-qualify. So that way you don't get that hard inquiry to see if you actually get the loan. So you can pre-qualify for these loans, okay? Now the thing about it, again, having a direct deposit, having an active phone number, having an active email, you know, those things really help you get qualified. I know a lot of people, well, I'm going to turn me down. If you have, like some of these may do a soft pull on the credit, but here's the thing about it. Let me explain to you about that, all right? So with these here lenders, they're not going to check your regular credit files, right? So they're not going to check your Experian, your Equifax TransUnion. They're going to check like your third party credit bureaus like LexisNexis. That's one of the ones they're more likely going to check. But you have um, Clarity, which is owned by Experian. Trust Factor, which is owned by TransUnion, and Data X, which is owned by Equifax. So those are your financial uh, credit bureaus that they may check to see if you qualify. So just keep that in mind. So that's the reason you won't see that hard inquiry on your credit file, okay? Now, another lender out there in the market, and this is a lending group. It's a platform. Now, again, let's go back. Avant is a direct lender. Just keep that in mind. They're a direct lender. So that's what makes the difference between them and a lot of these other platforms. Like Lending Group. Okay, so with Lending Group, 24-7 Lending Group, they offer loans from 500 up to 35 as well. But again, remember that you can actually um, apply for these loans without worrying about a hard inquiry. So that's the reason that I'm telling you this. And here's their FAQ in case you want to know. I have bad credit. Can I help? Again, it's a lending platform. And because it's a lending platform, understand that their credit scores and credit history, they directly will not pull. Okay? They do a soft pull. However, like whoever the lender is, they may decide they want extra information or they may decide they want to do a uh, hard pull on the credit. Okay? But at the same time, this is a network 
of uh, lenders that you can possibly go to. The next one is net credit. Now, many of you may have heard of net credit. Now, with net credit, net credit, they're a they're a tr like a tribal lender, right? And so their loans go up to ten thousand. All right. And again, like I said, you don't have to worry about the credit score, right? So you can pre-qualify. Now, also adding to what I've been saying about having the phone, the email, direct deposit, and stuff like that. One other thing that I would definitely tell you is to make sure, uh, like with some of these, they don't even care if, you, if you're in a bankruptcy. It depends on the bankruptcy or if you're coming out of a bankruptcy, okay? Now, one, one of the things that you have to understand, these type of lenders, the problem with these type of lenders is because of the interest rate, they are higher than a traditional bank or credit union. So just keep that in mind. But hey, if you need the money and if it's going to help you put you in a better position, then why not? With Money Mutual, their loans go from two hundred up to five thousand. Now a lot of people get approved with them. They're very flexible. So granted that they only offer up to five thousand dollars, to think about it is you would have a higher chance of approval with them. All right. Is personal loans, all right? This is personalloans.com. And for some of these lenders, I'll put a link below so you can get access to them. But again, with personal loans, the situation is, is that they are a platform. They are not a direct lender. But here's the thing about it. Like I said, with a lot of these uh, non-direct lenders, these here platforms, they usually have a higher chance of finding somebody to approve you for a loan. Especially like if you have real bad credit, you have maxed out uh, credit cards and things of that nature. These are the type of places you're more likely are going to possibly find help. Now, you know, if you were with a credit union, I would tell you, depending on the amount, because some credit unions, they only offer up to 500 but like credit unions like DCU, they offer up to 2000 But you have to be a member with them for at least 90 days. So I would definitely tell you, if you are with a credit union, I would definitely check with that credit union to see if they're able to help you first. Especially if you're looking for just a small amount. If you're looking for an amount that's less than 5000 then I would definitely say if you're with a credit union, I would see if they're able to help me before I would come to one of these here platforms, okay? Now, another one is credit loan. Now, with credit loan, as you can see here, their loans go up to five. Another thing I want to add to this, in terms of the income, most of these here uh, uh, platforms, like I said, they would accept uh, not only you being employed, but if you're on Social Security benefits, VA benefits, those type of benefits. If your income, usually their income ranges between five hundred to eight hundred dollars a month. Okay, in order to qualify. Now, of course, if you make it more, like say that you're making twelve fifty or higher on a monthly basis, you'll get more. You'll get more money, right? So it, it looks all about your discretionary income. Now, also, remember this, when you applying for these type of loans, you want to make sure that if you have roommates in the house that's sharing the rent, you only put down, like say that you have a rent for $1,000 and you have four people that's sharing the rent, so your rent is only $200, not $1,000, right? And then say that you have a spouse with income or something like that, then you also want to include your spouse's income as well. Because these here lending uh, platforms, they're more on how much income. So even though you may have bad credit and stuff, you still may have good income, right? And so that's the reason that you want to make sure you calculate all of the income that's helping you in the household. A uh, bad credit loan. Bad credit loans, they go up to 10000 Again, it's another platform. But like I said, make sure that if you are sharing rent with somebody, make sure you only put down your portion of the rent, okay? Your portion of the utilities. Mainly, they look at is like how much rent, okay? That's one of the biggest things. So 
If you making three thousand dollars a month, your rent is twenty five hundred. But you again, you splitting that rent, then you need to put down how much are you actually paying for that rent. Okay, so that way they would see you have more discretionary income. All right, that's what helps you. Now here's another lender. This is smart advances. Okay, and they loans go from a hundred up to twenty thousand. All right. So they give you a little more money. But again, just keep in mind that these are platforms. The interest rates, again, could be much higher. All right. So they have an easy loan request. As you can see here, it talks about fast loan request process. Get notified within two minutes. So they'll let you know in two minutes if you get uh, qualified. Right. So which is a very good thing. Think about it. You don't want to sit around and wait. You want to know if you're going to get qualified or not. The op loans, they loans up to four, right? So when, by them loaning you up to four thousand, uh, again, if you're just coming out of a bankruptcy, they will be willing to work with you, all right? And so here's some of the things uh, in terms of, so that, that way you know it's not all about the credit. Now keep in mind with some of these lenders also, they don't work, operate in all 50 states, all right? And one other lender I forgot on the list, which is Opportune, because with Opportune, their loans actually go up to 10, right? And so they usually want you to be making about five minimum. Now with Opportune, or excuse me, with Op Loans, they usually want you to be making about $1,200 a month, okay? So that way you can have some idea about us uh, uh, these here platforms. But like I said, for most of them, $500, $800 is usually the uh, minimum that they'll be willing to work with you. But up, up loans is usually about $1,200, $1,250. All right. Now, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.